If you want to start a business or you're already running a business and you're struggling, this is what is messing you up. You are making things too complicated, way too complicated. You're, you're busy focusing on all the things you could be, on all the things you could do, on all the people you could help. And you spend so much time thinking and planning and rethinking and replanning and changing and blah, 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 blah. You never actually get around to the work. You never actually put out the product. You never actually get the clients. You never actually do anything real and learn and adapt and change. And these three things, these three things are killing your growth. No matter the area of your life, if you have something you want, you have a goal, you have a drive, you have a desire, you want to get better at something, you want to progress at something, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's growing your business or growing your team or starting a business or launching a new product or health, wealth, happiness, relationships, it doesn't matter. You are here. You want to be here. In between are a whole bunch of, of ups and downs and stories you tell yourself and limiting self beliefs and challenges that you don't even know are on the horizon. You're here. You want to be here. Who knows what's going to happen to make progress. But here is what I can tell you. Most people in situations like yours, they, they make things too complicated because they feel insecure. They don't feel good enough, right? They, the imposter syndrome, some people call it. You know, someone who decides that they're going to be an expert doesn't feel like an expert. Someone who decides that they're going to start a new business just because they kind of know something doesn't mean that they know everything. And so this feeling of everyone else having it figured out, but you not having it figured out makes you feel behind. It makes you feel like you're alone. It makes you feel like you're the only person who's going through this. And everybody expects you to know the answers. Everyone expects you to be the expert, but how you're just starting. You're just doing this. How do you know? And so this doubt, this fear settles in. And so you mask it by wanting to stand out, by wanting to be unique, by wanting to be one of a kind. And, and that makes things really messy and complicated. And so it takes a tremendous amount of courage to say, I'm going to do one thing and I'm going to do it really, really well. It takes a lot of courage to be able to say, I'm not going to try and be everything for everybody. I'm not going to try and learn seven different things um, and then add these things. And this is how we're different. And this is all the things that we do. You're not going to do that. You're going to focus on one thing. And so this is a bit like, uh, you know, I always go back to weight loss because I was able to go from someone who was not competitive, who was never on really a team sport, who didn't work out, who didn't really eat that well. I was able to go from that to, you know, losing 50 pounds and I, I work out a few times per week and all of these other things. But it was never because I went, I'm going to get a trainer and I'm going to change my diet and it's going to be super complicated and I'm going to do all of these things. It was, it was focusing on one thing. It was focusing on diet right now. And it's focusing on running more. And it's focusing on the harder exercise. And it's focusing on lifting weights. And you see progress because you focused on one thing. Really, really simple things. Like, hey, I'm going to eat less. And so in your business, in my business, I would love, like, like my goal, my, my goal would be to help anyone overcome any challenge that they have. I want to be able to help anyone overcome any challenge they have. That is lofty. That's, uh, you know, bravo to me. Awesome. Great. But when you think about how you do that, how can I do that? How can I help anyone overcome any challenge when I'm not an expert at everything? I can't. I can't realistically achieve that goal without making things really, really complicated. And then it becomes overwhelming. And then, uh, you know, I fall into the next trap. I'm talking about all the things we could do. We could be everything for everyone and what should, how things should be. And, and, and I keep changing things and then I never actually start. In my business, I never start. In the weight loss, you never start. In, in whatever it is, you never get around to actually starting because it's too complicated. It's too crazy. It's too big. You need to make things really simple. And it feels scary. It feels scary because you go, if I'm only doing this one thing really well. In my, in my marketing agency, Fanta, let's just take one thing. Let's just say landing pages, right? Landing pages, a page that someone comes to that 
pushes them to the next step in the process. And we wanna do that better than anyone else. It feels like a crazy thing to focus on because it's only one thing. And who only wants one thing? Most people want lots of things and they wanna work with someone who can help them in lots of areas. And um, there's lots of people who do landing pages. So what's gonna make us unique? And what's gonna make us different? And, and so all these questions come in. When I started Fanta, the marketing agency I was talking about, when I started it, we did like four different things. And then we said, you know, we're only gonna focus on video. And as soon as we decided to only focus on video and a certain type of video, our, our revenue took off. And it's because we learned the processes quicker. We built our portfolio quicker. We knew what to say to people. We knew how to price it. We knew how to quote it. We just did, we just did one thing really well. And we started adding more services and adding more services. And then I fell in the trap of thinking I could do 12 different things for all of these different clients with all of these, you know, lack of process and everything. And everything started to fall apart. It's doing too much. It's making it too complicated. I was feeling insecure that I didn't have what it took to just do one thing really well because it just didn't feel like enough. But in my business, but in my experience with my clients, doing that one thing and having them come to me for that one thing, I was better at it. I had a better company than trying to do 12 things. So when you're starting your company, when you're growing your company, you gotta have the courage to do the, something really simple and do it better than anyone else. And it takes courage to be able to do that. And so next, the, the idea of how things should be or how things could be, yes, there's lots of money on the table. There are lots of people you can help, different types of people. There will be people who are asking for all these things and, and you wanna do, you know, you wanna do that one simple thing and they say, I like that simple thing, but can you also do these things? And so, you know, yes, lots of things could happen. You could run the business many different ways, um, but, but you can't focus on those things. That gets you into overthinking and that slows you down because in your business, you could do lots of things for lots of people. But when you go down that path, you will find that you become a nobody, right? You're not an expert at everything and you can't be. You're not gonna drive the same types of value across all of your different skill sets or all of your different offerings. It's not gonna be there. So you're gonna diversify, cool, great. But if you don't have expertise in all of those areas you diversify into, especially if you're just starting out, especially if you're in a position where you're trying to scale a, a company or a team, this diversification is gonna hurt you. Which brings us to the third thing, is that you overthink and change everything and never actually start anything. And so you're so busy worried about making things complicated because simple feels too scary. You're so busy focusing on all the things you could do and yet nothing quite feels right because you're circling and circling and circling. And so you're overthinking everything and you continually change and you never land on anything. And you wonder why things are so scary. You wonder why you don't make progress. You wonder why people don't know what you're talking about, why you can't market, why you can't sell. Because everything is complicated and kind of generic because it's for a lot of different people and you never actually take it to market. You never actually start. You don't get any feedback. You don't learn what's working, what's not working in the real world. You're always working up here. And so along with the courage that you need to make things simple, along with the courage it takes and, and, and really being brave enough to tell people that you will not take their money to help them with things that they wanna give you money for because you're gonna stay focused, you need to start by taking things to market, starting your company, launching a new thing, scaling before you feel that things are ready because they will never be ready. You need to go ahead and launch things when they're half baked, three quarters baked, because they're never going to be baked. If you wait for yourself to be ready and then you launch it, you're going to learn something new and you're going to have to throw out half the work anyway. So you've just wasted all this time fully baking everything. People find this really uncomfortable, right? You will find it uncomfortable. The people you're working with will find it uncomfortable. It takes um, a certain... Uh, confidence and ego in process and in the fact that you're going to figure it out in the future to be able to operate this way. And at the same time, an incredible amount of humility to know I made a mistake. Um, I learned something new. I'm changing my mind um, because of this feedback or this new objective um, uh, uh, data that's come in. The confidence to be able to stay simple, to say no to people who aren't going to help you hit your goals, and to be able to really focus on starting before you're ready 
and the humility to be able to go, oh, that didn't work. Oh, I was totally wrong about that. Oh, I thought I thought this could work and, you know, I thought this was really simple. It turns out I'm still confusing people or maybe it's too simple or maybe it's too complex or whatever it might be. But if you are here and you want to get there, yes, have the clear goal. Ask yourself all the questions, figure out the plan, do all of that stuff. Sure, do it all. But between here and here, the truth is that there is only one or two things that you're going to get a disproportionate amount of success in. So stop making things so dang complicated. Make it simple for yourself. Get those early wins. Stop focusing on all the things you could do, just the thing you're going to do. Stop overthinking it and start doing it. Let's go. Come on. I want to see you win. I really do. If you want another video message on growth, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.